Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns for the week. Okay, card is out. Okay. I've got justice. Number five. By the power of three by three, Matt, deliver justice to me. It feels like some kind of justice. Let's see what else we get. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, the cards seem very in sync. I've got success here. Uh, some successful outcome. Uh, could be in the form of decision or some information coming your way. Um, let's see what else we get, Capricorn. Message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. And it is 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021 for Capricorn. So I'm going to pull three cards, then we'll clarify, go deeper into the messages. We always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay message for Capricorn please message for our lovely Capricorns for the week that flew out six of swords in the challenge position we have the magician eight of swords okay Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. I've got justice again. And that's in the challenge position. Okay. Um, the magician. Oh, I love that. I love it. Wow. The magician with the sun. The eight of swords with the queen of wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the empress. Okay, so I have success here, Capricorn. I'm just going to, let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Thank you. So I've got the Knight of Cups. Okay. It feels like you're going through a situation, Capricorn, that wasn't fair. Um, there's definitely an energy of something that hasn't been fair. Now, yes, justice can be to do with legal situations, government institutions, contracts. So for some of you, there may well have been some unfinished business that you're dealing with or you're, you're still dealing with to do with those areas. And there is definitely an energy of the universe is right in the balance. Um, there is an energy of you are going to heal from this. You are going to find the way forward. But it's almost kind of like something needs to play out at the moment. But 
you will be getting the karmic reward. There's definitely the energy of success and it's karma. It is definitely an energy of something that didn't seem to be fair or right or just. I mean, you know, that could be whatever. It's almost kind of like you're going through it at the moment. It's not quite finished, but the result will be success here. And that's what you're being told. So for some of you, you might have been just waiting for something to complete, something to end, um, getting some kind of decision or award or, um, I mean, it could be financial reward. It could be to do, you know, I mean, call me what you will. I mean, you understand what I'm saying. If there has been some legal situation that you're going through, disputes on contracts, some unfinished business here, the message is that you're going to step through the other side of this and it feels quite imminently there is going to be some justice. It feels like karmic justice as well, because something didn't feel like it was fair. There is, um, there's an energy of maybe people that some of you might have been dealing with or a person not taking responsibility for their actions and it's their negative actions and they're being made to be accountable. You know, I don't know where I'm getting that from, but there's, I'm definitely feeling that. So call it what you will, uh, Capricorn, that's absolutely what I'm feeling. It, it feels in this situation somebody is, it could be an organisation or a person, or, um, I mean, in whatever aspect, whether this is in relationships, whether this is in uh, family, whether this is to do with work, career, it, it feels in this situation that it's been a difficult journey, but this difficult journey is coming to an end and you're soon going to put it behind you. Wow. I see this magician as the transformative energy of the news, the communication coming your way that finally allows you to liberate. The magician is, can, is mercurial energy, so it can be to do with some news communication and it's almost like you've been waiting for the news. I see that in these energies too. You've been waiting for the news to come. Something hasn't quite played out, um, but there's definitely an energy of success. Stepping into your light. Um, the feel-good energy once more, putting a difficult situation behind you. There's a feeling of release and restoration. And this is divine energy, you know, divine healing, divine restoration. You being restored in your own light once more, ready to manifest a new path. But I'm definitely feeling this energy of some communication coming your way. And it's going to make you feel good. The, the sun energy is a card of celebration, happiness, joy, success, um, growth. But you can let go as well with the sun. It's a form of release, letting go of what's gone and stepping into what feels good. There's better times to come. Everything is also going to be okay when the sun comes out. And interesting, what I'm getting with this is obviously the major arcana can be yes, no energy. And this is a big yes for those of you who need to hear that. This is definitely a yes energy. Okay. So that's the advice from spirit. This is a beautiful energy, even though you can't see it. There's definitely an energy with the Eight of Swords of focusing on the negative. But there is, I mean, the Eight of Swords can be negative thoughts, negative feelings that you need to take control of now. Um, because certainly with this Queen of Wands, it feels like in this energy, there is somebody of influence in your life who is coming in and bringing in some kind of offer, opportunity, um, happy energy. You know, the Knight of Cups can be an offer, an opportunity. Now that can be linked with something that brings joy, you know, something that brings happiness. Queen of Wands can be a leader in business. Uh, she can be somebody who might be offering you love. 
Um, she can be somebody who is helping you see the beauty of life again. So it might well be this could be somebody who has helped you through this situation or it can be somebody who is offering you something. Uh, because again, then this Knight of Cups energy is also about seeing the beauty of life again. So it feels in this energy that something is... Someone is of influence in helping you break free of this period of negativity. You know, because this Eight of Swords can be a card of negative thinking. Um, you know, I can't do this because of this. I can't move forward because of this. The situation sometimes feels futile with the Eight of Swords. And there's an energy here of, of someone seems to be bringing in some kind of offer that's going to change all that because we have new abundance coming your way with the Empress. So this is about the time is, it's in some ways I'm seeing these energies. If it's not a person, Capricorn, this is about you taking control of your mind, how you're perceiving something, negative thoughts, negative feelings. Because certainly in order to manifest a new path for yourself, you need to take control of some thought patterns. It seems like something is going to finish quite imminently. There is going to be some justice. There is going to be success for you. But you need to take control of something and allow yourself to move forward with an open heart, with a happy, putting it behind you and just moving forward to see the beauty of life once more. Where there has been negative thoughts, negative feelings, there's definitely an energy here of taking control of those now. Um, because for some of you, there's potential here to plant new seeds for future growth. The Empress can be the birth of something new, can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. So can linking with this Knight of Cups can also be the birth of something new in terms of money, career, finances. She, she, it's Venus energy, it rules both. Um, but it's definitely the promise of something wonderful here. The Empress is the opportunity to create the new path the opportunity to manifest something new, to create a new reality for yourself and put this into a period of negativity behind you. And the message is that there are better things ahead for you now. That's what the Sun and the Empress are saying. Focus on what is going to bring abundance and growth and fulfillment and bountifulness into your life because soon you'll have an opportunity to release from this justice energy and feel good and step into your power your light your success once more so it feels in this energy that something is about to change here for the better for you but these mental thoughts can still focus on the negative and it is about taking control of those to move on because you know I love this success energy it feels like there is abundant energy available to you on every level yeah and again, the, the Page of Swords can be about learning something, hearing something, some news, information. It definitely feels in this situation, your focus needs to be on this now, your mental focus, uh, the creation of something new, the potential and promise around you of something new. She is also a nurturing energy, healing, um, a growth energy but also an energy of abundance, new abundance coming your way. Focus on what is going to bring abundance into your life because soon this period of adjustment, this justice is behind you. Absolutely lovely energy, Capricorn, but it does feel with two justice cards. You have been through it. And I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody or, somebody or someone or something is going to be made to be accountable here. Um... And you're just going to put it behind you and, and just release, move on. Absolutely lovely energy. Let's pull a final card for you. Final card for Capricorn, please. Final card for Capricorn. Yeah, you see, this is what we're talking about. We have the fox shadow work. There are no shadows without light and it feels in this energy that which was keeping you stuck 
putting limits on you, whether it's your own mind or the situation, you have an opportunity now to release from it. I'm going to pull one more card for you, Capricorn, because it feels like a big reading for somebody. Oh my goodness, yeah, honeybee, divine feminine, which is the empress energy. Um, you are being called on to rise. Honeybee, divine feminine, you are being called, and it's rise above it all, you know? As soon as this success is, is coming your way, and it feels for some of you it'll be this week, this is about, there's such potential now. Uh, the empress is, the soil is ready, the, the climate is ready to plant new seeds, and there's real abundance and bountifulness available to you. That's not just on a material level, but that's from within too, not feeling lack anymore, but feeling uh, growth and warmth and um, fulfillment, you know? So there's definitely an energy of the new, something new. So there's definitely an energy here of just allow it once, as soon as you've dealt with this shadow work, rise above it and move on. See the beauty of life once more. Um, because for some of you, the time is ripe for new abundance coming your way. Lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.